Hello friends, I am champion Mahipal. Today we are going to learn about some tricky and interview questions of PHP. So our first question is what is the difference between MySQL IFH array and MySQL IFH assert that is association. Okay, we have very much confusion about this. So we will clear this. First of all, MySQL I fetch array. What it do? It fetch one array. We all know. So it return one array. It will return array with both numeric keys and associative strings. MySQL I fetch array return array with both the with both index that is numeric keys and associative string associative string means column names okay so we can use either uh, the column name or the numeric index okay when we are using mysql i fetch array we can use either the column name or the numeric index okay so now what does the mysql i fetch soak return mysql i soak return one array we know but it will only return string index and no numeric index it will not return any numeric index so we can't use dollar row 0 to call the to get the value okay so my sql i fetch a soak will only use the column name this is the basic difference between mysql i fetch array and mysql i fetch so now what are the conclusions and what function we should use mysql i fetch a sock that is the second one is better in performance better in performance than the mysql i fetch array why because mysql i fetch array return two types of index that is numeric and associative so it needs more memory and my sql i fetch soc return only one index that is name index so it is better to use in second thing second thing is using name index that is this column name index is better than using numeric index now the question is why let us suppose you have created table and in this you have one field with the name abc after some time you have added uh, one more field uh, before the abc so now the numeric index will change but the name will remain same numeric index changes but the name remains same so we should use mysql i fetch soc then the mysql i fetch array this is about the difference between mysql i fetch array and my SQL I fetch a so thank you very much.